the objective of this video is to show how to connect and view IP cameras on a PC network without using an NVR. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification button. In this demonstration, I will be using these two IP cameras. I also have here this 4-port PoE switch to which we will be connecting all the IP cameras. Of course, we will be using CAT6 network cables for the connection of the cameras and other devices. Please take note of this cable. It is a cable from the local area network in my office. It has internet access and we'll be using it in our demonstration. This is one of the computers we'll be using for the demonstration. Let's begin with the connection of the cameras. All my cameras are PoE cameras, so we will just connect them directly to the PoE switch using the CAT6 cable. For more details on how to connect IP cameras, you can watch my video on how to connect IP cameras using a PoE switch. But basically, what I'm doing is to connect the IP cameras to the PoE switch using the CAT6 cable. We will also connect the local area network or the internet access into the PoE switch like this. I need this longer network cable to connect from the uplink port of the PoE switch to my computer's system unit. So this one goes into the network port of my system unit. So this is the connection so far. Let's power up the systems now. As you can see, the two cameras have been powered on. We will now download and install on our computer a VMS. A VMS is simply a video management system or video management software. These softwares are designed to help see live camera videos and also facilitate recordings. On my computer, I will search, download and install JoeVision VMS because I am using JoeVision cameras. Here is the Joe Vision VMS, so I will download. Click download. It is getting downloaded. When it is done, the installation process will start. The installation process has started, and all I need to do is to follow through the instructions and get it installed. I will click completed and that brings me to the login page where I will create a username and password as a first time user. After creating a username and password, you will then answer some password protection questions and then you can log into the VMS. This is the main interface of the JoeVision VMS. Other VMS softwares may not be the same as this one, but may be similar to this one. Some of the very important tabs that we will be using in this software are the Device Management tab, which allows you to add online cameras to the VMS, and also the Video Preview tab, which allows you to view the camera videos. 
let's now add our cameras so we'll click at device management and here you can see our two cameras we connected to the network have been found and listed here what we'll have to do is to double click at each of them to add them up to the vms a double click on the first one you see it added at the top there a double click at the second one it is also added let's go back to the main interface and then to video preview a click at it the added cameras are contained in this folder labeled ipc a click at the folder will reveal the two cameras also click here to show it on the screen and the second one too so the two cameras are now showing online I can also view these cameras on another computer. I have already downloaded the VMS onto this computer. So I will just go ahead and log on and add the cameras. here we are please don't forget to subscribe to this channel there are other interesting videos about cctv on this channel please visit them